All right, guys, moving right along. This is another bottle that I made. It was it had a country girl theme to it. It has a horse on it that was put on um, paper and then Mod Podge to the bottle. There's a lot of detail in this bottle. This bottle took me probably three days straight to make because it was just so much detail involved in it. Um, I, I think it's a Jim Beam bottle. Um, it is a Jim Beam bottle. You can actually still see it on the bottle. Um, the first thing I did with it was washed it and then, you know, got all the labels off of it. And then I rubbed it down with alcohol and then I started painting it. And when I painted it, I did it with all kinds of camo, which took forever, took forever to do this bottle. There was so much painting and neck hurting involved in this bottle. Like every time I look at it, I'm like, I don't want to do another one like that for a while. So the fit, the fish, where's my brain at? The horse, um... It's just a drawn out image on paper and then it was painted and then put on the bottle with Mod Podge. Um, the glitter was added after the Mod Podge was, you know, kind of tacky. Then I made the tag that's on here. It says Country Girl. My, my phone is ridiculous. I really need to get my webcam up. The tag is made the same way as all the other videos that I've showed so far. Um, you know, I, I mean, I could go and buy the stickers and I could go to Hobby Lobby and buy all the elements, but I just, I like being able to make my own stuff too. So, um, this is handmade. It's got jute twine wrapped around the bottle. This is another element, um, out of the costume jewelry box that I had. I just thought it was fitting. Y'all, this hat up here, no lie. It's made out of a toilet paper roll. No lie. Toilet paper roll up there on top of that. I think it turned out perfect. Um, so this is the front of the bottle. Um, the friend that I made this bottle for, um, she's in barrel racing, so I decided to do barrel racing, um, you know, elements on the bottom of it. The cross is made. I attached this cross to the bottle. I was going to let it dangle, but I decided not to. I thought that, you know, it would just look better with it being tacked to the bottle, so it's attached already. This chain right here stuff, you can got you can get this at Walmart um, in the jewelry section for little of nothing, I think. Um, and I just think that the silver kind of throwed off with all of the bright colors, just really, it just blinged it out there. So um, flip it around here. I got some cowgirl boots. I made these the same exact way. I don't want to be repetitive in my videos, but it's the same exact way. It was, it was put on tracing paper, painted out, Mod Podge to photo paper, and then, you know, add it to the key rings. Um, horseshoes, the same thing. This is just another piece of costume jewelry that was added, um, and I painted it pink to kind of throw it in. The quote on the bottle says, pray first, then ride. Thought it was pretty fitting for um, barrel racing. And I actually have a barrel racer on here, if I can zoom in. There it is, right there on the bottom. So this bottle took a long time to do, but I'm so happy with the way that it turned out. Um, and that is a country girl, cow girl bottle. Um, my friend is actually uh, buying this one from me. She just hasn't come to pick it up yet, but um, I don't know, maybe I'll make some more of these. I don't know. So this is the front, this is the back, and this is the side. So I'm pretty impressed with it. So, all right, I'm going to move on to the next bottle. Thanks for watching, guys.